You make me feel. <laughs> the quickest guard you will ever see, but you know he gets the job done. And that's uh, very important in the steel things for Koy Banal. On the other hand, you see Al Jamal, very much steadiness personified. Sometimes he doesn't even touch the boards for this and better team. Oh, definitely not. And meanwhile, on the other end of the team, Al Jamal. Any other forward, number 15, all their class on the other teams here, Nancy. Yeah. The court by Al Jamal, he gets banked a little bit, and that's gonna uh, test. They've got a heck of a future, bitch. That's not gonna make him with, with, you know, Boy and Bautista just managing the clock very well. Ekwe, soft jumper, Al Jamal with the offensive rebound. Here's Father Scott. From that time around, looks like Ekwe. We'll be taking more medium range shots to allow Al Jamal to uh, cheese control inside. Watch this. Because if Ekwe pulls Realista out, we'll be Al Jamal against Mondragon, and that seems like a, you know, more in favor of San Beda. Ekwe lobs it inside to Al Jamal, attacking down, drop step off the glass. This is not the time to be faint of heart. Beda is on the warpath. Let's take another look at this. Al Jamal. Kaya kaya niya kainin si Tino na sa ilalim eh. Oo. And that's why he knew he had last. Realista back on the floor. Four fouls and all. Bautista given Dela. Swatted by Al Jamal. At the shot clock expiring. Al Jamal gives them the lead. Let's go now to Aitan Yabe. Storming into his front court. He'll attack Al Jamal. You know, Letran has scored only four points here in this period, Bill. So, a lot of great defense on both sides in this ball game. One minute, 47 seconds to go. This is a shot block brought to you by Converse, the first school. A minute, 47 to go. Nine-point lead for San Beda. I think Al Jamal did enough all game long to, to warrant this. He did finish with 14 points and 12 rebounds and two blocks. And, you know, he really typified the, the never say die attitude of the Red Lions in this one. And next up for the NCAA on Friday at 2 p.m. Yes, the uh, cheer dance competition as you take a look at our best player of the game, Yusuf Al Jamal.